Hello and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Bentor the Bard. Isaac Lore. And we're here to play some uh, Injustice, Injustice 2. 2. We're gonna go punch a monkey. We are. <laughs> we we certainly haven't done this before, and aren't we recording it? That would be ridiculous. Uh, I'm not supposed to actually say that. We have to maintain the illusion, man. Come on. There's no illusion. We just finished reporting on our Twitter that we had, like, issues with, like, all sorts of stuff on that Splatoon 2 thing. Yeah, but that... Anyway. Today, the world welcomes its new masters. The Society! You know, he might be good at, like, fighting and stuff, but he's really not that great at names. Yeah, well, so... I mean... Looking at everybody up there, most of them aren't great at names. That's true. I mean, is it just Captain Cold? That name is genius. Captain it's Cold, Cheetah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost duck dog. Deadshot, it looks Bane. Like it would be metal armor, but it's just moving in ways that metal. Ah, uh, it's moving weird for metal plate. <laughs> it's tin foil. It's it's all Renfair armor. <laughs> He's a gorilla. We're good with it. Society members. Basically. It's all of them. They're headed indoors, out of sight from the soldier. Harley, keep the jet warm. When we signal, bail us out. Wink with the weird. It's like she had a nervous tick. Yeah, those <laughs> spatial animations just aren't there yet, I don't think. I mean, as long as they're not doing anything, they don't look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Soldiers must be properly motivated to sacrifice their lives, Catwoman. Hate. The perennial motivator. Maybe for you. <laughs> I mean, turn that hate on us, or this society is over. As long as we have a common agenda, Captain Cold, you have nothing. Maybe he's just so much taller his, than everybody. You know, his response to Captain Cold's thing sounds like a curse you've an inevitable betrayal. Yeah, like, no kidding. As long as our interests align, you have nothing to fear. I'm literally the squishiest guy here. We already lost a ship in its slaughter. I mean. Catwoman's technically squishier, because at least he's wearing body armor, but mm. she also tumbles with Batman, so... Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's time you spilled the identity of our silent partner. That's what we're calling it. For relying so much on him, or her. He will soon make his presence known, but for now... Pronouns are very important the for the, the robot. <laughs> yep. It's true. Oh no, one of them has actual superpowers. What do we do? Yeah. I'm not bold enough to disagree. Wouldn't banter. Raven the bold. Oh man. That's what Batman I want in this game. Raven the bold Batman. Oh boy. That would be a heck of a thing. No. All right. I don't know why Bruce ever trusted you. I've got nine lives, Dinah. So, as the person in the group with the most interest in these characters, I get to play as... Uh, somebody else talk. I'm busy. <laughs> okay, so we're not start. Okay, well, you got so, that move down. So Catwoman's showing some real disaster mode in the fight. Between a lot of short combos, thinking controlling the screen. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. Uh, we're walking it back. I forgot she's a lot of counters and stuff, isn't she? Yeah. Hey, look at that! That was cool! Yeah, now you're doing alright. And then it's and what? Then triangle to use your special, right? Or... I'll do an it's, it's circle to use your, your treat. That's right. What is it? Circle to use your treat? Yep. Ah, that was cool. Well, Did you got this, at least, uh, at least the end of your health bar soaked most of that combo. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Just keeping it interesting. Mm -hmm. How do I use that big cool special of mine? Both triggers. Yeah. Right. Catwoman doing a decent job of controlling the air. Man through. Black Mary. It's yeah, not neutral super, which <laughs> got blocked. Yes, it did. Blocks naked super. Oh well. 
Oh, I'm done. I don't have any of that. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. Oh well. I mean, she only sacrificed nothing I can, birds. nothing I could do about it. I like, I like your feline evade of nothing. <laughs> she evaded like you were gonna throw a projectile. Do I have projectiles? No. no. Yeah, I'm a little confused there, but whatever. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, five hit link combo out of nowhere. Another spit. Oh. oh. Uh, okay, so. So that whip does a lot of damage. It may have been a little bit since I played. It's all right, keep trying, man. Don't let her whip you. Oh man. I'll try this again. Friend, it's fine. Lena. I don't know why Bruce ever trusted you. Can you skip cutscenes? Oh, I'm, I'm only a traitor in most of them. You were really laying it on thick with those puns. It is They're some perfect. ADGQ level of puns here. This one was good. That was awful. I had to bite tooth and nail with that one. More <laughs> <laughs> like a cat fight between you two. Uh, had to take some punitive actions that I thought I'd. Look at you! Specials and the traits! And here I am, the canary in the coal mine with these puns. <laughs> oh. I don't know, you might just fly away with these ones. <laughs> Ah, oh, shot in the dark. Seriously, And you're to blame. The board. <laughs> uh, looks like Black Mary's walking it back. Yeah, sorry, Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Black Canary. Meow is the time to strike. <laughs> right? Yeah, there you go. Man throw. Yeah, make it super. Block. Oh, block. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, that's not good. I didn't know where it was going to go. I didn't remember what hers looked like. Oh, I'm about to eat a bite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. But you're not dead. At least it was a hell of a ride. It was. Ow. Don't forget oh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Sweet Wake up, win. Alright. Ouch. <laughs> that was great for Ollie. That was how my last fight went. I know how you feel, buddy. Yeah, at least you landed on all those arrows. <laughs> Soften the blow. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, a few of them might be air airbag and boxing glove arrows. Oh, that makes sense. True. Yeah. Ah, Bane just looks I like so that close awesome. up on Bane. <laughs> just had to pan around that. His venom tooth, Ollie. <laughs> well, somebody snips his tubes. Ah. ah. Kind of Batman. He was like, I have an arrow for that, but I've never used the vasectomy arrow. <laughs> it just doesn't come up very well. <laughs> never had to stop a rogue. Uh, I'll distract him. You take snippet. That word. I'm just on it like this. You know, I'm very disappointed that it wasn't that some kind of, like, gadget arrow. arrow. Yeah. Right. I wanted this to be an unbreakable arrow. <laughs> like, <laughs> just to embarrass him? Yeah. I wanted spring steel so it would just, you know, go back into form after he bent it. Right. <laughs> Alright, Lucha Libre. Respect Let's do it. Bow. Red green arrow, which is Nacho <laughs> Libre. Yep. <laughs> Nachos are delicious. Yeah, alright. Alright. Well. You really spun it around this time. A little glass from that ball. <laughs> well, I've played a little bit more of Ollie, but I will admit that it's been a while since I've played anybody. See, Green Arrow's move scent is just a little more on point. Powerbomb! <laughs> you got Powerbomb! Will that, like, send, will that send you on, like, Vietnam flashbacks back to Street Fighter V? <laughs> Powerbomb! He doesn't seem to be as tightly. He's so uh, strong. Tightly strong. I was gonna say, oh. You gotta do stuff to him. I'm trying. He's try not your, really. Try your you, special. I was gonna say you have your special. He's just gonna block it like the other guy. You don't know that. Oh man. You're wow. so okay. close though. This chapter is really your bane. It it has been. <laughs>
a rough ride so far, but it's fine. We're gonna get through it together. Gotta pick somebody. I did. I'll distract you. Didn't register it. the controller wiggle. Well, you have to hold it. I know. We didn't. Your spine will oh, come on, no. No, no, no. Now you're done. That was my favorite arrow. <laughs> Why would you leave it that way? <laughs> it's his favorite. Yeah, oh. it's his. All uh, right, Pokey. It's his. It's you and me. That's a si <laughs> that's that's his new sidekick. After Speedy and uh, Arsenal. Arsenal, Pokey. It's just an arrow. He's just kind of well, a little crazy. To be fair, the arrow can't get a drug addiction. That's, that's true. true. Or lose an arm. <laughs> although so, although Pokey just got snapped so, in half. Or so it's so like think. Ooh. We're gonna we're gonna Ow. get. I'm gonna find, discover Oof. some new arrow jabs. Oof. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty harsh. Hey, Alright, yeah. brought it Bring right it back. back. Don't waste that arrow, I could've used that! <laughs> I don't know, you're not using very many arrows. Oh no! Uh oh. Block, block. oh. I was already in the middle of an attack so, animation, so there was nothing I could do about that. Oh my god, my head catches fire <laughs> during that. It's true. On the plus side, if you initiate a clash, you can't really defend against it. I don't know how to do those. Perfect. Oh. Although I'm not or maybe sure just use your regular special. Hit. Well, that works. Yeah. That works too. Whatever. We made it out of the fight. Make it super chat. Wait, when did she get swords? I think she said, like, Tomph is in the past, and this is a bit more violent world they're in, so I, I guess... Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. More importantly, where do they go? Now, where's that damn dirty... Uh, yeah! Be um, well, she's got that half the jacket, jacket. The half jacket? I figure they're stashed back there. Well, this is... Dr. Fate! A uh, bit out of his yeah. wheelhouse. Oh, it's Dr. Fate medicine. I come to you as <laughs> What? Fate? Uh, you know, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman? I, I think why? he gets the reference. I think he wonders why the reference. Doctor. Oh, I mean, that's just stapling the medicine woman on a doctor. <laughs> yeah. that, that's not a joke. That's barely a reference. <laughs> maybe maybe if it was a lady Dr. Fate, I didn't say I could kind of see it. I just said a thing. You guys assumed it. Everyone and everything you know Non-jokes. <laughs> Anti-jokes, if you well, will. Well, you're if not exactly on the insightful commentary. Anti-jokes. If they come in contact with regular jokes, they cancel each other out. <laughs> there you go. He's playing Watch my back. Man, I wasn't paying attention. I almost forgot to pick someone. What happens if you don't pick someone? You are not fated to fight his battle. Yeah, I think it has a default. Ooh. Careful, you're married. I was gonna say, <laughs> the line that launched a thousand fanfics. I had a Woody what season for that, too. I'm sure you did. What season is what I do? So, Ow. I've played a little bit with Dr. Fate, and he's fun. I just want to say that this is an unfair fight on many levels. Oh, yeah. This guy's no. one of the pillars of magic that holds up the world and whatever. This is not somebody you should be fighting with, like, martial arts ability, or a scream, or arrows, or all of that at once. You just kinda have to watch out for his teleporting. I find that that's the biggest problem. Uh-oh. Ooh, nice block. I think the biggest problem is- I hit that button I never hit! You control the entire screen from anywhere on the screen. That is true. Which, uh... That, he can regen his health, and... The computer doesn't seem to be doing it. Well, no, the computer would like you to finish the story. And it's noticed that I've lost a few fights. I think it's probably dumbing itself down as we speak. It's like, okay, maybe a little less aggressive. Just, but just a dead. We're going to bounce you off that uh, <laughs> water buffalo over there. Well, they want me to know about the new mechanics and the things on the stage you can do stuff with. It's very important for the online play. I wonder why that water buffalo thought it could use that elephant head bomb. I know, right? You'd be surprised. Force equals mass times acceleration, and they're faster. Well, that works. You did it! Yay! <laughs> the computer wasn't paying attention. I get to do the thing. 
Fist bump. Possibly even end the fight that way. Hooray! Yeah! That's a good finisher. I'm not abandoning Batman. So angry. Everyone's so angry. Mm -hmm. The injustice of it all. Ha ha! Ha 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 Hey dude, wake up. Your helmet was going a little crazy. <laughs> it does that sometimes. You okay? Your headgear really had you going. I lost control of the boo, the spirit of the helm. Thanks to you, I'm back in charge. For now. I have to go yeah. with my masters. The Anybody whose job it is is to like keep a almost omni uh, omnipotent what? being in check. What's going Hard on? job. Yeah. Uh, Magic bars with you got him, you've got the Spectre. Just both times. of them. This planet is taking a bit for a ride from yeah. time to time. Gee, you've changed fate so many times. Did you have anything to do with Superman going crazy? Stop. Uh, probably not. No. Moving on! <laughs> in the gods hands. My master's won't allow me to go. God damn it, That's Ken. probably the Lords of Chaos. The Lords of Order would never do that. Oh, no, I don't know, ever. he was looking for some kind of One World Order thing. That sounds very orderly. We all know the Lords of Order never make a mistake. Never. <laughs> not once. They're like the Guardians of Oa that way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Uh, that fight went about as expected. We're happy to check out, but you're coming with us. Ooh. Again, sad none of those explode. Yeah, you know, a flashbang there would be real handy. Would have really disrupted that uh, telekinesis. Uh, I forgot to bring my banana arrow. Wait. You eat bananas, right? Or is that an offensive stereotype? You know, <laughs> Ollie's, all, 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 Ollie's always been a leftist SJW. Yeah, he is. <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's funnier than anything I could have said there. <laughs> actually, actually, no, he's more of a social justice ranger. That's true. Oh. He wouldn't be caught dead as a fighter. Well, no. Depends on what, what system are we using, because 3.5 D&D is definitely a fighter. He doesn't have animal companions or magic or anything. Oh, he's got an animal companion. His wife's name is Black Mary. Oh! Uh, huh. hmm. ah. I feel like there's a joke about being an animal in bed or something there, but I just can't quite We're too classy together. to make that joke. Uh, no we're not. I'm not. <laughs> Like they do have a kid Don't together. assume like class. <laughs> they do have oh a kid. Oh my god, that needs to be a D&D &D shirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a fighter. Don't assume my class. I did always want to make a, like a mage. Uh oh, luck. I oh, tried. It was too late. Ouch. I do kind of want to make like a mage character that is just wearing like a ton of plate mail and carrying like a war hammer or something. No idea how to use any of it, but... It looks really impressive, and you're less likely to get killed for being the mage. That's true. Although, I've always found if you're trying to uh, disguise your mage, uh, pretending to be something like a bard's easier. They're not generally as high on everybody's kill list as a mage, but you still don't suck off, suck those uh, armor bags, check penalties. Oh, yeah, nobody cares about the monk. It's true. <laughs> Good call, good call. Didn't even think about them. See? Nobody cares about the monk. I care about the monk. <laughs> so, are they just regular apes now? We're, I mean, that's classic monk attack. So, I love that they brought giant, specific handcuffs for him. They knew who they were bringing in. Mm. Yeah, but I'm always concerned as to where they were. On the ship. Half jacket? Half jacket. Or the quiver. Yeah, they were just attached to the back of the quiver. That's why it looked so big. Each of them carried one cuff. The whole thing had to be assembled as a pair. What was it? Did we mess the game of Dead Panic while we were playing? <laughs> Language. Oh, hmm? Nothing. She said a naughty word. Oh. <laughs> You're still handcuffed. <laughs> those are Batman handcuffs. You probably can't get out of those. 
I was really he hoping that the next scene he was in, he was still wearing it. I, uh, he probably he can't. I like the fact that he couldn't even laugh or, like, <laughs> otherwise cheer for what was going on there because his arms were too far apart because of the bar. Oh, look, it's Dracula. <laughs> Green skin. Man, you Mark could look like anyone and you Martian? look like yellow, wrinkly old John guy. Martin? They, I'm surprised that of all the versions of Brainiac and all the shows in all the world, they went with the Super Friends one. Right? <laughs> like, the yellow man with the thing on his head, uh, can't tell if he's wearing pants or the, like, weird onesie Speedo thing that he had, but, uh, otherwise, no, spot on for the Super Friends one. Also, Doc Ock wants his arms back. Cause and effect. Resistance begets violence. Then we won't resist. Yeah, you're gonna kill them all out of life. Like, literally all. Like, the entire planet. I mean, you're like Galactus without the shred of decency. You're the great he isn't even interested we in parley or any of that kind of stuff. He's want? just here to do a job. Because if Galactus wanted to co collect all the information in the universe, he wouldn't blow the planet afterwards. Superman. It's true. For years, I believed I had destroyed Krypton and all its remnants. Well, actual Galactus, but knowledge Galactus. Superman's survival is an oversight. Like, Brainiac doesn't have to eat planets to survive. He destroys them Superman because. Is a friend of ours. I am aware. But your planet has also peaked He's my basically interest. the plot of the first Star the Trek movie. The one where the mining ship hits the satellite oh, yeah. and they're like code matches together, so they decide that they have to find planets and then mine them to death. I am the no with superpowers. Right. Well, because, as far as I can tell, it's just because. Like, as far as as far as far I can tell, it's his programming. It's what he's decided his reason for being is. Why? It's because knowledge is best when it's rare. He's explaining that right now. Yeah, but I still think it's dumb. Arbitrary symbols of status. I value... Honestly, I think the reason he destroys everything afterwards is so that his knowledge base doesn't have to be updated. Otherwise, you'd have to he come back really to this. He really hates version updates. Yeah, well, I mean, if I was sentient, I'd probably hate version uh, updates, too. <laughs> if you were sentient? If I was a robot and I was sentient, think about it, if Windows 10 was sentient, wouldn't it freak out every time there was a version update? That's You're going to fundamentally change something about what I am? Oh, no, that's, that's bad. What? <laughs> because the original, update on the team at I was City. sentient, I would hate updates too. <laughs> and then, I was talking about him! And then, <laughs> what, Captain the Emojis are game playing robot? <laughs> I haven't hooked him up to the Wi Fi yet. Well, Upload me. Good. Why would you want to end the world? <laughs> eh, you know, bad the days. You cannot regain control. Over the past days, no, you gotta have people, otherwise you don't play Bots. I mean, let's face it, I play mo I play shooters online. Bots, <laughs> people aren't any smarter than bots. I like people, though. Oh, okay, fine. A fully developed male Kryptonian. I wanna go where the people are. We give you Wi-Fi access, you'll be a Nazi in three days. I heard that's what's happened to a few Forte. Forte. Why? The Kryptonian belongs to me. And soon... You know, for as intelligent as Brainiac is, he couldn't quite manage to put all of them on the right, in the right order on the screen. He's right? Kinda, he's kind of like one of those slider puzzles if you give it to a kid and they can't quite figure like it out. Like a computer to do, like, dual monitors. It's hard. That's like 19 monitors. So I only saw one Batarang. I just want to point that out. Yeah. On this whole suit-up sequence, one Batarang. These creepy skeleton robots. Weird, weird Cybermen. They're very 40k with those skull faces. Yeah. They really are. They, that's kind of how I imagined servitors to look like, except bulkier. Well, and they're... I don't know, they make pretty good necrons. human spines. They'd be decent necrons. But the yeah. fact that it looks like a human skull specifically makes me think servitors. The... 40k former human beings that they roboticized. Mm, that looks bad. You guys should make peace with Batman so you can punch a giant uh, 
alien robot. Never! <laughs> no corner to our enemies. Besides, uh, they're underneath a magical bubble, and I don't think Brainiac has seen through it yet. So, I think, I think what they think is they will let Brainiac wipe the board. Oh, that would be a Black Adam move, wouldn't it? And then they will take out Brainiac, because certainly, with uh, the three of them, they figure they can take out uh, anything. That's true. Jim, the other can take out Matt. Hey, I'm just saying that's why they want Brainiac to do it. I'm just saying, that seems like... Did they really need Black to give Adam's Superman a, a prisoner number? Yes. Like, who are they going to confuse him with? <laughs> I think Batman's just that paranoid about someone Ted, the serial him. arsonist? But no, I think Batman's just that concerned of what if someone does confuse him with someone? The second he's out of that red room, he's Superman again. That's, I suppose. That's, that, I'm just saying, that's, that's, a, that's a Batman contingency right there, is making sure he's coded in the system like everyone else. You're wearing the suit, my trouble again. He's such a pouty baby. I mean, I guess... Been getting grief oh, counseling in there? I guess Batman did put him in his room. Long yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they had grief counseling. God, I hope so. He sent Harley over you never mentioned that before. Probably. She'd be pretty good at that, yeah. You can't. She's licensed still, probably. And she's she's dealt with people crazier than him. That's, That's definitely true. Yeah, it's a fat guy sort of Bruce. Bruce. Sort of Not saying it turned out well. But But Superman ain't that people. Superman ain't that guy. Also, He's a lot of things, but he ain't that guy. Also, Probably good to have a grief counselor that knows basic martial arts. Yeah. Just in case. Well, so next time on Endless Mode, we're going to see what the Flash is up to. We're going to catch back up with ourselves. It'll be fun it's to just watch Just some minor cast. time travel. Minor time travel. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Dinosaurs!